Hey guys, it's Cosmin here and welcome to my channel which is about psychology and criminology. Today we're going to talk about the biological perspective of crime, also known as biological positivism. Biological positivism affirms that criminals are born, not made. Environmental conditions are not taken into consideration, they only believe to be the triggers of the biological force. The first biologist that looked into criminal behaviour as a science was Cesar Lombroso and his work was developed by Enrico Ferri and Rafael Garfalo. They are known as the Italian positivists. They believe that the behaviour is a pre write and code in which criminality lies beyond individual's control. Cesar Lombroso worked as a, as, a as a psychiatrist at the University of Turin and also as a physician at the Italian penal system, which put him in a very good position to study criminals from a physical part, which was after death, he will cut their skull and he will study their brain, but also previously to, to death, he will study their behavior while they were in prison as he was the doctor of this, uh, these inmates. His theory was that criminals have a different type of physical anatomy than non-criminals. He sustained that criminals are born not made, which rejects the idea of free will, which means that we, ha we don't have a choice. We, we are either criminals if we are born, we, if we are born like this, we will be criminals from, from the day we are born and we will be developed into a criminal in later life without of us having a choice as this will be written in our genetic code. Uh, he, he, also, he also did not focus much on female offenders in his study because he, he believed that women criminality lied only, it was only limited to prostitution and abortion. Lombroso affirmed that crime is an atavism which is the survival of primitive traits in people. He is con he he even if he says all this stuff, he is considered one of the one of the fathers of criminology. Lombroso studied uh, 383 Italian criminals, discovering that 21 percent of them uh, of his sample will have one of the characteristics of a criminal, and 43 percent will have five or more of these uh, characteristics. These characteristics being unusual long arms, twisted nose, uh, sloppy forehead. In my case, I could be a criminal because my nose is, is pretty twisted, so that will make me a criminal, even if I'm not. But just just uh, to see that, you know, his theory was done 200 years ago, so it's updated, but it was the first step into the development of criminal behavior as a science. So, uh, although Lombroso did not focus much on depth in, uh, in females, he affirmed that in comparison with the male's cold, females' criminals will have slightly different traits. We, uh, they will have peculiarities in their additional region, which is basically the back of the head. Women abnormally, uh, women ab uh, abnormally more frequent was prostitution, at least that's what he believed at, at that time. Uh, they, this was just the beginning of the biological positivism and the biological perspective of crime. So they, they are, nowadays there are different types of biological explanation of crime. This being, this being uh, bio, biochemical factors such as hormone, uh, premenstrual tension and testosterone. Pre uh, Hormones will will affect both males and females. Menstrual tension will only affect females, and with crime, testosterone high will testosterone high high level of testosterone might make males more prone to commit crime. Uh, also, genetic factors and chromosome anomalies will will have an impact on criminal behavior, and alcohol and drugs. Alcohol and drugs will make criminals more prone to commit crime. In the 20th century, Adolf Hitler believed in the purest, in the pure race and the perfect person. The Nazi scientist to succeed at creating the perfect race by trying to modify the human genome, also known as eugenetics. Nowadays, the technique is still being used by changing 
the genome of human embryo. But this, this will this will be discussed in a, in, in a different video because it's been a very complex uh, complex discussion. We'll have to discuss this further in, in, a, in the next video. So for now, we'll ha we'll leave it here. But we will uh, for the next video we'll we'll have a discussion on how chromosome anomalies will affect criminal be will affect criminal behavior and how this will impact uh, crime. Thank you very much and and see you in the next video.